Okay, so um, we learned how to do the sin dial. We can use either um, osmium tetroxide um, and or <coughs> potassium permanganate, and we can get the sin dial. Okay. What we can um, also do is get um, use different conditions to get the trans dial from the alkene. Okay. So remember, this product here would come from uh, using MCPPA on cyclohexane. Okay. So you can go back over that mechanism on your own, but let's do the second part of the mechanism together, okay, and get the trans dial. So is everybody okay with thinking about this part? Can I just wait? So I'm going to erase this, just like you should always do when you're about to write a mechanism and draw your bonds. So H3O plus, well, what's going to happen? That's a strong acid, so you're going to have an uh, acid-base reaction, the fastest reactions in organic chemistry, right? So what's going to be the base? The oxygen on the epoxide, right? Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So what's going to happen, remember? The electrons grab the proton, that makes that bond break there. Okay, so that's the first step of the reaction. It's an acid-base reaction, so I'm actually going to put um, equilibrium arrow. So now we have a protonated epoxide as our intermediate. Water. Of course, this acid is in, you know, a solution of some sort of alcohol or, or some sort of water. It's in the solution of water. So, uh, what's going to happen now is that that water is actually going to do an SN2 attack reaction on the cyclohexane or the epoxide ring there. Okay. So. What will happen is it will attack there. Okay, remember, it's got to attack from the antibonding orbital, so it's got to do that backside attack. Do you guys remember that? Okay. So, what this is going to do, so once that bond is being formed, of course, that bond has to break like that. Okay. And we're going to get. This reaction here, and this is the actually the driving force for this reaction. So, what's going to happen? We're going to have inversion of configuration at that stereocenter there. Okay, so the oxygen is going to now be on the back side, and the hydrogen is going to be flipped. <coughs> okay, so let's draw that. So remember, this is the Lewis acid, Lewis base, right? So they're going to stick together. And then if you want to show your hydrogens, it's going to look like that. Is everybody okay with those steps of the mechanism? Okay, remember this is in, like we said, there's a bunch of water, it's the solvent in this reaction. Okay, so what's going to happen? Another water molecule can become involved. And it's going to deprotonate that protonated alcohol there. Okay, and that's actually a reaction in equilibrium too. Mm -hmm. But then you'll just wash out all your alcohol in the end in your workout. So from that reaction conditions, I can get that trans dial. So you guys see that they're on opposite sides of the ring there? Okay, so remember with um, osmium tetra
tetroxide, you can get the cis dial from the alkene um, or potassium permanganate. You can get the trans dial using MCPBA for your first step and then acid for your second step. You could also get it using a base for your second step, like we were talking about earlier. So, hydroxide. Any questions on this one? Wonderful.